Hey everybody, welcome back to Bible from the Duns. Today we're in the book of Colossians in chapter number one, so let's get started. We are also on the Advent book, day 13. Yep. And if you're like me, you're struggling to keep keep it um, in order with us doing seven days a week of that. I am about to go from here to my planner and write them down <laughs> because I, I get confused too. So today... In our Advent book, it's talking about an unbelievable announcement, this announcement of peace. Um, I think it's really apropos. Right now in my Sunday School small group, we are studying through a book on prayer, and we're studying the different types of prayer and um, different reading different examples of prayer throughout Scripture. And over this past week and this week, we're starting, we're talking about lament, the prayer of lament, and the ability to take our sorrow or our pain or just the difficult things that we're dealing with to be able to take them to God. And so, you know, I started last week this idea of lament, and I'm like, oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Let's talk about lament. But really, it is a subject and a topic that really meets us where we are. We are in this situation in life if we are a follower of the way, we have Christ as our Savior. We belong to heaven. We belong to a totally different kingdom. We do not belong on this earth. It's like we're aliens. And so it's this tension and this weird situation that is called the already but not yet. And so we live in this time and we're to fulfill our calling to be disciples. And we're going to talk about that in a second. Um, and to go into the, the world sharing the gospel with people and doing life in the the very best way that we can while we're here on earth. Um, but we still live in this earth and we're still affected by the things of this world. I can't help but think of our friends in Israel who are, you know, dealing, they're just praying for peace and they're dealing with that struggle and other, other places in the world that are in turmoil and they want peace. But even here um, in our own lives, we want peace in the day-to-day, -day, whether it's in our schedule or in our relationships. Um, that is something we all hunger for and thirst for. And I think it's super important for us to realize that peace is a person. There are so many aspects of God that we've been studying lately, um, whether it's truth or the word, um, different things like that. And when you realize that it's not this unattainable idea, instead it's a person that we can go to and that's the person who provides those those things that we need, um, it's, it's more understandable and it's more attainable when it's not on our own shoulders to seek after it. And so knowing that peace is a person, um, we know where to go when we need this piece. And so in Colossians chapter one, I want to read some of my favorite verses from this chapter that, that show us that Christmas is the coming of peace. He, Jesus, God the Son, is this Prince of Peace that comes to the earth to take away our sin. He's the one through his blood, he reconciles us. He makes us right in our relationship with God if we choose to follow him and accept him. And so these, these verses here that I'm about to read show us that. It starts in verse 15. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For everything was created by him in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and by him all things hold together. He's also the head of the body, the church. He's the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile everything to himself, to make everything right with God. Whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace, through his blood shed on the cross. This is peace. Jesus Christ is the embodiment of peace. And when we are struggling and when we're hungry and when we're searching for peace, that's exactly where we turn. We turn to God for that peace. At the end of Advent, day 13, it tells us um, 
to look up Colossians verses Colossians 1 verses 3 through 6 and it asks how might the assurance in this passage increase your boldness so earlier in this chapter that we read in Colossians and I know Jax's takeaway comes from there so I'm going to let him um, pick up from here it tells us that Yes, we have this peace, but we also, with this peace that we have, we have a responsibility, right? Mm -hmm, that's right. Um, so my takeaway comes from verse 4, which is a really big uh, part of this chapter, where we see uh, God's not only the embodiment of peace, but also of love. And it says, um, For we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus, and of the love that you have for all the saints. Um, so Jesus is, um, he is love himself, like love incarnate. Um, so, uh... In having this relationship with him, we love him, and through this overflow, we also um, love everybody else because of him. That's right. So, since we know the source of this peace, so, and I love that you said he is love, that's another one. Mm -hmm. Love is a person, and that's also God. He's the answer to all of this, just like the scripture tells us. But because we know where the source of this peace comes from, we have the responsibility to show others this peace that they can have. It is a gift offered to all. And if we love people and if we love the Lord, we want to share that gift with them. And so that's a great reminder. Um, sometimes the hol holiday season can be difficult. We just finished Thanksgiving and in our own family, it's our first Thanksgiving without our mama. And so it, I get that there's this tension of living in this, in, in this world, but not of it, and longing for something better. But in the meantime, let's rock it out. As we know the source to help us along in this journey in this earth, we know the source of this peace. Peace. God left us here on purpose, and that is to share that with others. And so since we know who this love is, we know who this peace is, it's our job to show others who God is and who Jesus is and that they can have access to him as well and to this peace that can only come from him. All right, friends, thanks for joining us today. We will see you guys tomorrow for Advent Day 14. <laughs> see y'all. Bye. Bye.